In this video, I will be going over how to save a filter in the market research section. So let's say you found a filter stack that you wanted to keep track of and uh, you wanted to go back to that maybe a month for now if you want to check in on how that uh, how certain markets are doing within a state or you want to track uh, certain markets you can go to your saved filter and look at your saved work so let's do a filter stack right now let's go to the state of georgia And keep in mind, this is 0 0.2 to 100 acres. So all the data showing up here is 0 0.2 to 100 acres properties. And we can set the heat map, let's say six months sell through rate. So we wanted to track six months sell through rate. And we're in Georgia so far. And our criteria is greater than or equal to 20 listings for sale, 0 0.2 to 100 acres. and we wanted a six month sell through rate of 100 percent or more so greater than or equal to 100 percent so right now we're looking at data within 0 0.2 to 100 acres we're heat mapping six months sell through rate we're in the state of georgia the six month sell through rate is 100% turnover or more in the last six months. So we're seeing over 100% of the properties that are currently listed sold in the last six months. Okay. And then we're also looking at 20 or more for sale, 0 0.2 to 100 acres. Okay. So let's save this filter. So to save this, to keep track of, of this filter stack, click save. And it's showing us the criteria. Okay. Now we are going to save this as Georgia best sell through rate counties. Save it. Okay. Now let's refresh our screen. Let's just get rid of everything. Okay. So everything's back to normal. Now we're going to open our filter. So we're going to go to save filters on the left hand side. And we are going to open Georgia best sell through rate counties. Okay. It's loading. All right. Now it's showing these counties again based on our criteria. These are going to change. They're not going to save because we're just adjusting how we view it. But the data that meets our criteria saves because we set certain criteria for it. This is not criteria by any means. This is just a view. So everything that met our criteria is showing up in the saved filter. So there's many ways you can use the saved filter. It's mostly to just track your preferences and looking at data sets. And it also saves you time. And another way to use it is to just check in on certain areas that you like and go back to it through the filter section. So that's how you save a filter. And that's the end of this module.